Hey guys, it's Joseph, and I wanted to make my own video on how to use a semi-automatic handgun or pistol. So I think we have to start on how it basically works. This is a cartridge. It has gunpowder inside. This is a primer. And what the gun basically does is it hits the primer hard enough to explode the gunpowder. And this piece right here, the bullet, goes shooting out. So there are two places where a cartridge will be. It's either going to be in the magazine or it's going to be in the chamber. So let me show you how the chamber looks closed. So this is the chamber. When it's closed and uh, there is the round in the, ch in the chamber when it's open. Right now, there's a round in the chamber. At this point, pulling the trigger makes a striker hit the primer. It makes it explode and shoots the bullet out. Okay, right now I want to show you how to make a gun safe to handle. So let's say you're at a gun store or uh, maybe your friend is showing you his gun. This is how you're going to make sure for yourself that it's actually safe to handle. At a gun store, it's most likely not going to have ammunition inside. But if your friend gives it to you, you don't know how he's going to hand it to you. Before we even start, there are a few rules that always need to be followed. First is when, you, when you're handed a gun or when you go to pick up a gun, you always keep your index finger stiff. Which means you're not picking it up like this, which is like the natural way to pick it up. You want to consciously think about keeping your index finger straight and you're always going to pick it up like this. So there's no way you could accidentally pull the trigger. Next is you always treat a gun like it's loaded which means you're not going to be pointing it at anything that you're not willing to shoot. That means always pointing this in the safest possible direction. So this is actually loaded right now. The first step is going to be pressing this button which is called the magazine release button and what that does is it takes the magazine out. However remember how I said there are two spots where a cartridge can be? So one is in the magazine and the other is in the chamber. Right now there's still a bullet in the chamber. And so how, how you're going to take that out is you're going to, it's called racking the slide because this is the, this moving piece is the slide. How you do that is, okay, how I like to do it is I put this on the base of my palm. I grab the other side with all four, all four fingers, pull the slide back all the way until you can't pull anymore and then stop pulling and the gun's spring will move the slide back forward. And you'll see that the cartridge that's in the chamber is going to go flying out. Ready? But you want to make double sure that it's actually safe to handle. So how you're going to do that is you're going to use this. It's called a slide lock. Do you see that groove? Well, I'm going to pull the slide back and then I'm going to shove this up into that groove. So get, so the slide gets stuck backward. So how you do that is you pull this back, you push this up with your thumb, and then you can let go of the slide. At this point, you can shake it. Any cartridge that's in there should would fall out. Feel inside and see that it's empty. And now at this point, it's safe to handle. So earlier I told you to always eject the magazine first. Now I want to go over again why you do that is because if you rack the slide first and you'll see the around get shot out or you heard it fall and then you eject the magazine anytime the slide goes backward and forward it picks up a new cartridge so even though you just ejected one and you took out this there's actually still a cartridge inside here so I'm gonna take it out now you'll hear it fall on the table Now you might see where the automatic in semi-automatic pistol comes from. There's one in the chamber right now, and if I shot it, the explosion's gonna shoot the bullet out, but it's also gonna make the slide go backward. And that's gonna automatically eject the used cartridge, and it's gonna insert a new cartridge from the magazine. So out went the old one, and a new one's in here now. And it's semi-auto because I have to pull the trigger every time I want to shoot it. In a fully automatic gun, all you have to do is hold down the trigger and it'll just keep shooting over and over again. Okay, 
Right now what you just saw happen is that the magazine is empty now. And on most pistols, once the magazine is emptied out, the slide automatically gets locked backward. Okay, now we're gonna go over how to load a handgun. To load the magazine, hold the magazine in your weak hand with your strong hand. You push it down uh, on the follower with the back of the case and back, down and back. And they'll just go right in. With the second one, you, you push down with your left thumb, push down and back with all the rounds like that. Uh, eventually, the spring will get make it harder. So hopefully, your gun comes with a helper like this one. And you just push down with your thumb and drop it in. And then set it back. It makes it really easy. First, you put the magazine inside the handle. And you slam it up. And you'll hear it lock. Or you can also put the magazine in with the slide forward. It doesn't really matter. There, there will be a difference though. It'll be harder to slam in with the slide forward. Like, it takes more effort to slam it in with the slide forward. At this point, all that ne all that you need to do is rack the slide, and that's gonna pull a cartridge from the magazine and, and put it into the chamber. Pull the slide back as far as you can, and then let go. This gun is now loaded, and pulling the trigger would fire it. So let's say you put in the magazine. You put in the magazine with the slide lock backward. So if you put in the magazine with the slide lock backward, what you do is you just pull this back and it's gonna let this slide lock drop and then that's gonna let this, once you release the slide, it's gonna just slide forward automatically. So again, now this gun is ready to fire. One nice feature of this gun is that, see how this piece is raised? Like you can feel it. That means that there's a round in the chamber. So if I eject it, that middle piece is not raised anymore. It's nice and flat. Now you're at the range and you're ready to shoot your loaded gun. You need to know how to hold it and use the sights. So how to hold it is you jam the web of your hand up here, like as far in this space as it'll go. This thumb goes here, this finger goes here, you wrap this tight, and how tight you hold it, a good rule I've heard is um, about how tight you hold a hammer when you're hammering something. So you're going to hold it tight enough so that it doesn't go flying out of your hands, but you're not, you don't have a super tight grip on it. Next, you put this meaty part of your palm right in this space. Another way to think about it is that this knuckle of your thumb goes into this kind of like uh, space right here. So it's going to go like that. And then both your thumbs are facing forward. So let me kind of show you all the way around. Let's say I want to shoot the bullet of that cartridge. Then I'm going to line up the sights. And then it's going to look like that. And the bullet is right above my sights. Now I slowly pull the trigger, very slowly, and it should, it should surprise you when the gun goes off. Because you're just slowly pulling it, like this. You're slowly pulling it harder and harder and harder and harder until it actually goes off. Okay, now we're going to go over another pistol that's slightly different from that one. This one has a, a safety. That one doesn't have a safety on it. It's a moving piece and right now it's in safety mode. Pulling the trigger won't shoot anything. You can't even cock it. So that's another way that this is different. It has a hammer. To take it off safety, you just flick that up and now you'll see a red dot. And now this one can be fired. So let's say it ha I put in the, a magazine, I racked it. So now there's a cartridge in the chamber. This one is called a double action, single action pistol. It's both of them, two different kinds of actions. Because when you pull this trigger, you can see the hammer is going backward. 
and then I'm pulling the trigger harder and harder and then at, at the break point that's when it'll fire so it's double action for the first shot because it, it does two things it makes the hammer go backward and then it makes it go forward but remember after the first shot this slide is going to get forced backward. So let's say I do my first shot. The explosion happens. And it cocks the hammer for you after the first shot. So every shot after that is now a light, very light trigger pull. And it's called single action because all the trigger does now is it just releases the hammer forward. In case you want to know, this is a Springfield Armory XD9. And this is a Beretta Storm PX4 in 40 caliber. All right, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to go over the full anatomy in case you want to know. So this is uh, called an accessory rail. Both of them have one. And it's for putting on stuff like flashlights, like the flashlight I used earlier. It slides on. This gun has the... Um, loaded chamber indicator that I showed you earlier it has this striker status indicator so the striker is forward right now and doing that now you know it's cocked and the strike this piece of metal sticking out um, this is a grip safety and it has a trigger safety but there really is basically no safety because if you grab it and pull the trigger it's still gonna shoot this is a disassembly lever so it's for taking the gun apart to clean it. So you just rack it back, move this up, and then let the slide forward, pull the trigger, and the slide comes off. This one also has a disassembly lever, but it's right, it's not really a lever, it's like these two buttons that you pull down both sides at the same time. Yeah, other than that they're pretty much the same.